You can see it's a bright and sunny day here in the south of France, um, but the coat will attest to the fact that it's not super warm yet at this time of the morning. We've also got to apologize because they have decided that today is the day they're going to do some strimming around the village. So every now and then you might hear a bit of But in any case, <laughs> it's, um, do you want to, I'll take it sure. from you and you can get into and, camera. Um, okay, and. <laughs> Testing one, two, three. Do we want to see the view without a board in place? Yeah, we can do, yeah, a little shop around. But I think what the important thing is to say, if you're watching live, please um, type in as to whether we're streaming okay, because if we're not streaming okay, what we might do is abort the mission and just record it anyway, just conventionally, and then put a film up in another form later on. But perhaps you can let us know. But in the meantime, if we, should we just get started? I think we should get started. Let's just show people the view okay. that you are actually going to be painting today. So this is our village in Puzol. We actually, if I point up towards there, you can't see it, but our house is kind of up on that ridge. And that is looking down towards the center of the village where the sort of old circulade is. So sort of going up towards the, the old church and the chateau and all the old medieval buildings. Um, we've had a bit of rain this weekend, so our river is actually finally flowing as well. First time virtually all winter. It's been a really dry winter. And where you can see the plane trees is kind of our, what do you call it, our village square. They call it the promenade. And it's where they hold the market and in summer they kind of have parties and fets and brassicards and all sorts of things. In any case, Simon's just busy starting as he does normally with right. a bit of blue sky, I would imagine. Cerulean blue and a little bit of pathalo blue. Let's see how this looks. I'm, I'm going to just wash this over the sky. And here we go. There'll be tooting cars and more in the work. We also hope that the wind noise is not <laughs> too much of a problem today. There's a bit of a breeze, which is... Not ideal. Yeah, let's just go over but hey, that. it does mean Simon doesn't need a hairdryer. That's true. Yeah, let's just wash down across there. So you're going straight across everything. I'm going to try and keep the the build. I've sketched the bit, sketched the scene out with a 2B pencil, and now I'm just putting a wash of cerulean blue, and we'll just let it fade out down the bottom. It really is a pinging blue sky today. It's a pinging blue. Yeah, not a hint of clouds. There's normally a, a, I'd be um, using my sap green on the trees, but not guys, today. Also, thanks for letting us know. Evidently, it's streaming fine, so that's good news. Oh, okay. so I've got to keep going. You've got to keep going. Right. In that case, a fellow our artist. Fans. Hi, we're live on Facebook. This is Annie, one of our fellow village artists. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Ah, the joys of working on plan air. Right, so now I've got that in. I'm just going to put a wash very quickly. There's this, if you look, there's the stone colour, the sand colour, the road colour, everything's pretty much the same. I'm going to leave some facades a little bit lighter because they're a little bit lighter. There is a bit of a mix of colours amongst them. There is, yeah. There? That's very pale, actually, isn't it? That's this is the Naples, Naples yellow. I'm just going to start with. That's very pale. It is, isn't it? Yeah, let's, let's pump it up a little bit. A little bit of yellow ochre and... So you've taken Naples yellow and a little bit of yellow ochre. That's right, yeah. Got this nice old wall here. I tend to do all the architecture first and then the greenery later on. So we actually are live, this car's going by. So... I think this, this is going to be a quick a quick demonstration, a quick sort of watercolour sketch here. This is the path on the other side of this, on the river, I use the term loosely. And um, we've got somebody watching from New Zealand today. I think New that, Zealand! I think that Greetings. might be a first from New Zealand. Good evening. It must be a good evening, yeah. I mean, I it forgot to say good morning, evening, good afternoon yes. and good evening to the world. And the UK. Yeah. Colleen Brunner is saying hello from the, from Essex. Great, hi, hi, hi. 
like I said, I'm, so I'm just literally putting a few, I'm going to leave a few light ones in. We're going to come back with some strong shadows later on. We've got a lovely chateau. In fact, I should have left that light. There's, um, if you look closely, camera person, there's another tower behind the chateau, which is our old church, which I've kind of forgotten. But um, I don't know if you guys can the, see the benefits it, of probably... artistic license. Anybody who's been to our painting holidays will know the chateau and the. There we go. That looks in nice. <laughs> Sarah, it's so true. I was actually wondering exactly the same thing if when people drove past they actually realised that we were streaming into the whole world. <laughs> oh, there's a, a brother of mine. A brother? Steve is watching from Qatar. How's it, Steve? Excellent, excellent. He's back. Good man. And Anjali is watching again as well. Oh, great. Ah, it's a global event on the side of our road. Let's hope the, the wind doesn't blow everything into the river. <laughs> Okay, I've got the some basic Naples yellow with a little bit of yellow ochre in there. I'm going to put a little bit of something on the road, a little bit of Payne's grey on the road. Oh, that's going to be strong, isn't it? Try and mix that up a little bit more. While that's still damp, I can get away with it. I've just put some nice big brush strokes indicating the flow of the road. There we go. That's not too bad, is it? Keep it quite simple. There we go, a bit of that down there. Good. Right, lean back up. Should we order some coffees? <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> okay, let's have some. What about that? An old guy coming past on his bicycle. Um, that was my fault. You lost. Um, you uh, you lost us there because I was trying to actually make my screen a bit brighter, and I actually closed the app for a second. Sorry. All right. Okay. We're back on. We're back on. I'm just going to put a little bit of. I think you're being optimistic with the blue of that river. I'm going to put a. There is a little bit of blue, but I'm going to put a little bit of uh, sort of grey, brownie green in there at some point as well. Okay. But let's um, let's keep it optimistic in these um, lockdown days. So that ideally, now where's my hairdryer? I should have just run the hairdryer across here now. Well, just blow. Blow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That, so that was a number sixteen wash brush. That's kind of giving us the basics, I think. I'm not even going to bother wiping any clouds in. I'm I just going to recklessly leave it. I think it's done. You think it's done? <laughs> okay, right. We can get up early, get the coffee on. Actually, do you want to show the, the setup? We've got the okay. bag, we've got the bag of um, uh, tools holding the, uh, holding the whole setup down. Is that keeping the giraffe in place? Keeping the uh, giraffe, keeping the, uh, the giraffe, are you this? Yeah, Simon always calls yeah, no, he's his, not too bad um, today. Is, um, Fine camping tripods. table, camping table, look for that, that's worked out quite nicely. Pallet and water, that's all we need. Right, I'm going to add a little bit more sort of stone colour now, I'm going to add a little bit of... And let's be honest, if you weren't filming, we'd keep it even simpler than that. It's just because we're filming that you need... That kind of height, yeah. That height and that sort um, of thing, isn't it? I'm going to put a few more, let's have a little bit darker in here, look. A little bit of paint, paint's grey, burnt sienna, and a bit of yellow ochre. I don't want it too bright. Now this is, I mean, just also from, um, this is probably far more true to our holidays. Now normally, just also to let you know, we wouldn't be perched by the side of the road um, with our painting locations on our holidays though. We do tend to find um, places that we do. where people can sit down them. easily and there's, well, shade for a warm sunny day. This is just extreme watercolouring going on here. I'm going to put a few more. I'm going to keep those light there, I think. There's a few more little roofs. Yeah, actually, I'm taking advantage of the fact that it's just me here, and um, so I can grip my teeth and find painting locations that we don't normally sit at, but nevertheless, pictures I'd wanted to paint. Um, there we go, let's have a few of these. I'm just putting a little bit, of, this is a bit of burnt sienna and Payne's grey. I'm just putting a little bit of light and shade in here. Let's have some shade down here, look. That's quite nice. Though. We can kind of keep it pretty vague. There's some roofs here, look. Yeah, you can kind of just see the buildings through yeah. the trees, can't you? It's let's just... get a bit more, oops, red. How about the uh, sound quality with um, the streamers, the trucks, <laughs> and everything else. It's authentic. It's authentic. 
we bring you to the south of France for a, an hour or so, less than that I think, the way I'm going. Um, okay, we've got some little, uh, some fine brushwork, some little, gonna... yeah, little, little yeah, minor shadow, yeah, little, little, uh, little rooftops here. I've kind of left these facades almost white. I can always go back in and touch on, here's the cafe down there. Some of them look almost white. They do, don't they? Yeah. It's kind of like... Sarah's saying the sound is good, so I'm glad to hear that. That's good. How about the painting? Rubbish. I'm actually, the um, the tripod's been buffered <laughs> yeah. a little bit by the wind. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put that. That's got a few of those in. There's another little. It's quite similar to that scene in Bouzy where we were painting the other week, isn't it? Um, insofar as it's, yeah, the series of Houses, facades and so on. Yeah. yeah, let's have a little bit more. Let's have a bit more brickwork colour in here, look. Well, let's be honest, it's just very a very typical southern it French is. scene, isn't it? Now we're going to come round here, just under a little bit of. Oh my gosh, we've got somebody listening from Las Vegas. Las Vegas! Good. Stephanie, what is the time in Las Vegas? Oh, yes, can't you sleep? Good to have you along board. There we go, some of that. So now, I'm going to put a little bit, of, while I've got this colour, I'm going to keep it quite limited today, just a little bit of a... Oh, we've got the bikers coming through now. Now, word's getting out. So just put a, just br a few little light horizontal things and maybe we're going to put some... I'm amazed actually by the amount of traffic coming through given the <laughs> fact that this <laughs> is yeah. basically a dead end. It is really, yeah. It, it, you know, our village, you, you don't really drive through this part of the village to get anywhere apart think, from, yeah. apart from <laughs> the village. They've obviously heard we're doing a live TV celebrities, in. Simon yeah. and Monica from New Life in the Sun, are here in town making their village famous. All right, so now you can see we've got that basic sort of cerulean blue, some Naples yellow and yellow ochre mixed into the facades, and I've just mixed a slightly richer colour for the roofs. I'm going to just put my hair dry across that, and then I'm going to mix up a little shadow colour and a smaller brush. And uh, let's have a little of that. Stephanie's saying it's really early, it's one th just a little after 1.35 a.m. Well done, that's dedication, I like that. Thank you very much for uh, coming on board. It's dedication or it's insomnia, it so yeah. let's hope either one of them. <laughs> What's the weather? Oh, look, I've just put red in there by mistake. Um, I'm trying to get a kind of sort of warm shadow colour. So this is me, I'm just trying to get these, if you look at these, at the scene, you've got the kind of very bright sunlight facades and literally, with the, thanks to this beautiful weather, you get very strong shadow underneath the roof, the eaves of the roof and the little yeah. balconies. Yeah. And that just makes it jump out and the shadow of obviously the chateau and the sides there. So hopefully, magically, like I'm just going to put this in. I kind of wish I could sort of Zoom in. Do you, want to, do you want to run down the road? Look. I wonder, you know, you can't seem to zoom in on a live, unfortunately. Okay, not to worry. I was having a look. We'll have to take our word for it. We'll take a few photographs. Um, but okay, so yeah, literally. I'll run down the road and just leave you to it for five minutes. Yeah. That's kind of I'm going to make it a little bit blue in that, actually. So I've got you a. You often put magenta into your shadows. I do, yeah. And um, let's have a look. So what have you put into your shadow colour, Simon? It's actually top secret. I can't tell you that. <laughs> uh, no, there's a bit of bit of paint's grey, and a little bit of brown, a little bit of magenta. So it's a kind of warm shadow colour. There's a nice little shadow here. Look. Just hang on to the uh, a few little balconies here and there. That's quite nice, isn't it? That's good. Just coming together and a bit more across there. I mean, when I sketched this out. I kind of started with the, with the chateau and worked away from there, so I've got and then I kind of fitted. Luckily, is it also because your chateau then in. gives you really strong downlines? Or yeah, you know it, what's not, what I like about the composition is the road taking you into the picture. The rivers on the same curve. We could put a few little wispy clouds going the same way, but uh, I should have done that. I should have done that earlier. 
Um, but in the meantime, let's carry on with this. Well, you are painting on plein air. And it's pretty true. Painting on plein air. This is it. True to life. This isn't is the, it? the challenge. Let's get a bit more. Where's that? quite sure what I'm going to do with the trees yet. Now this is the other challenge of painting on plein air is trying not to get too many shadows. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Because as I was moving in I could actually see the microphone. Let's, um, let's try. It's got a big kind of... That's quite a key one, isn't it? That sort of shadow of the actual Ooh, yes, tower. It's got a nice little bit of a thing there. Um, I'm going to just zoom over to that side as well so okay. people can see. Yep. So below the towers you can see quite a strong triangular shape and that's that strong shadow that Simon has just put in just over there. Just put a few random uh, terraces in there. That's quite good. Okay, that's coming along, coming along. So normally towards the end of that line is... Let's have some more shadow down here, look. ...is our bar, which isn't open at the moment. And no, actually the it. house that our, the, our guests stay in when we stay in Fuzo. Oh, that's right, it's down there. I'm going to put a few... Oh, I'm going to put a, some... Yeah, I'm going to put some shadows in there. If you look at that, it's going to be a little bit tree down here. I'm going to put a little... Well, I've got, got it in my brush. I'll put a few little shadows down here. There's another little bit of water. Oh, yes. he needs a ghost opposite us. Uh, I can't see him. They can't, I can't even hear him. No, I can't. Maybe they've uh, gone off for the day. So that's that. Da -da -da -da. Let's have some... I'm not sure what to do with the trees. I'm going to put a little... Let's, just... Let's try Sorry. that. I'm going to put... Um... I was just making sure that Millie's still in the car. <laughs> yeah, that's she's behind us, isn't she? She is. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put a few little... Just hint at the, the trees, look. Very fine brush, just flicking it up. So these are the big plane trees that have yeah. just... Have they got a, they've got a few leaves on I, them I now, might haven't they? use a little bit of artistic license and uh, and put some on. Just going to get that kind of shape. This is all going to be quite, quite, quite rough. Like I said, you can see, I'm hanging on. I'm hanging on here, but it's the, it's the price of stardom. Right, that's, that's across there. I've got a couple of little roofs, I think, to do. So while Simon is getting thing, I'm going to pan round and show you our visiting dog sitting in the back of the car, perusing the scene as well, and quickly back to the sun. Let's go across here. That's, um, I can just drop some windows in there. I'll just have a little bit of sort of Payne's grey. You've put a few stronger colours on the roofs, haven't you? Yeah, it's just a little bit stronger because the if you look, the, the roofs are keeping in the same kind of colour range, but um, They're not just a bit dark. The They're a bit, a little bit dark in the facades, yeah. It um, depends. It seems to be the newer roofs are slightly brighter in colour and they kind of dull down over the years. Yeah, I think this is it. I'm going to just put quite a bold Payne's Grey in there. So, sorry, I'm bringing a I'm trying to just get in over your shoulder that's a bit I've sort of got. There. Like a witch's hat, so I'm going to, while, I've, while that's damp, I'm just going to wipe a little bit of, a bit of the colour out, which will hopefully be enough to give it the illusion of being curved. There's now this little line down there. Yeah, I'll just put some, oh, that's a bit strong. So, damp brush. Just put around a bit. I'll just put a little bit. It'll fade away. It'll fade away. There's that little building there. There's going to be some. Uh, there's going to be some windows in there as well. I'll let that uh, dry out for now, I think. And let's just hint at some. I'm going to be a little bit optimistic with my my tree. Although well, there's not a leaf to be seen. I think there's a faint dusting. A faint to be dusting. On, in that case. To be honest, is the. the the Let's trees a, are starting to, I mean, you can see the tree in front of us. It's just starting to come into leaf. Okay, in that case, I'm going to put a little... I've got a kind of lime, lime green. It's slightly dirty lime green, isn't it? It, it is now. <laughs> it shouldn't be. Yeah, I'll just keep it vaguely. There we are. I'm just going to... How about that? What colour do you think I should add there, then? I think it should be a little bit fresher. No, it's fine, because it's not a fresh green that we can see from here. It's not really, then, no. I'll keep it vague. There we are, how about that? Ah, uh, the 
fans are pulling up and admiring the work now. We'll have this sold before the uh, end of the tutorial on downing. Okay, let's have some green era. Let's go for sap green, sap green time. So the background's done quite nicely. And so I'm now going to put some... So again, can I just get, get yep. in over your shoulder sure. so the people can see where all the green is? So now, because we have winter rain here at this time of the year, it's um, it's the grass is actually we've actually got some grass which in summer kind of just disappears and <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's be honest. Still streaming, okay, everybody? Let's hope so. Here, I'm going to put a few little. Just the irony is, is when you got 4G here, sometimes it's better than our, our Wi-Fi signal. Oh, okay, there we are. Uh, right, so I'm just a slightly bigger brush. I've got this kind of watery sap green and I'm going to put that yeah, it's kind of got a nice big bank over here look you can be quite quite loose with the brush strokes because it's a bit kind of stony a bit ragged it comes kind of down here a bit more I'll put the, the bushes up there it's a bit of green down here as well it's quite nice there we are and then around the other side is that nice little path going on in the middle. How about that? Uh, hot dry summers that we actually quite enjoy the green. It is, yeah, like I said it's in a, f in a few months time it'll all be pretty dry and dusty down here. Elsa is watching us as well. Oh hi Elsa! Andrews. Yeah. <laughs> sunny St Andrews. That's, that's, that's good, good I would like to hear that, yes. Sunny Scotland. How about that? Let's have a little. I'm not quite sure what to do with these. Um, Oh no. The reeds. I'll do, it, I'll do it the way around. I'll, I'll kind of flick down. Oh, uh, so you're actually going to always, almost go with your green into it just to give an indication? Yeah, uh, that may or may not work. Um, I'll just try some of that over here. Let's have a look. That's quite. It's nice, isn't it? There's little, little islands. It's, it's really nice to sit and paint here. <coughs> I should do it more often. Let's have a, that's a, that's good. Okay, let's get a bit it's of green. It's a scene we walk past so often on the other side of the river with our dog. It is, isn't it? Mm. It's a well beaten track. Okay, so now I'm just going to. Yeah, this is uh, some optimistic green, quite sort of, quite sort of thin, washy brush strokes. So that's quite nice. That's good. We'll come back in a bit darker there in a second. Um, there's a nice little pine tree above that roof which I'll add right that's at the very end. That's a bit darker isn't it? Isn't yeah. It? Oops. Hang up. I like the freshness. Good, good. It's quite fresh. Maybe not for darling, it could be on the dining room wall by the afternoon. Um, Alright, so there we are at that point. I hope this is looking reasonable from where you are. Um, Cerulean blue sky, Naples yellow and yellow ochre on the facades, a little bit of burnt sienna and paint's grey, just to intensify it a little bit, a few little flicks of that shadow colour on the roofs. I mean, actually the, the square's great this summer here, isn't it? The, the, yes. the shadows are easy. I've missed the little power station off. Um, what I'm going to do now is just put some slightly richer green in. So look, we're going to go for the bit of hooker's green. It's quite, a, for these little bushes here, look, they're quite quite murky, aren't they? Quite dark. It's almost... Is that Oscar? Where's that? It's actually an Oscar here, going into I the I think square. you're right, yeah. We missed him. Our friends around the village. There we go. Let's have a little bit of, into some shadow or something going down there. If you move quickly, see, with the damp brush, you can just tie things back a little bit. Oh, he's got his baguette. He's on his way home now. Like always, really have his baguette? That's he's bound to done. Bikers. A little bit grassy green. I'm going to just turn that down a bit. <laughs> Sorry, I have to show you this. Our dog tried to get it onto the back seat. 
I suddenly heard this wild scramble. <laughs> he wasn't, it wasn't particularly dignified. I think I'm just going to add a, a few little darker lines here and there. It'd be nice to have a little tree here, I think. There's a little bit, there's a there's bit actually a tree there. There is, I'm going to put that in. But I need to let this to dry first. That was our local policeman driving was past. He? Yeah, it was cheap. Actually, yeah, I mean, we did, we were going to, we've been a little bit restricted because we wanted to paint in a location where I didn't need to wear a mask. And in all the villages, you have to wear a mask. So we're kind of on the, on the edge here. You know, likewise, we were thinking about going down to the coast and but the, in the little harbours, you have to wear a mask. I would imagine so, yeah. And I'd be muffled and the sound would be even worse. So we don't want to do that. Okay, so now I think that, okay. I'm just going to go around with a nice little um, bit of paint grey and uh, that shadow mix. So it's a little bit dark. I'm going to just dab in a few little windows here and there. Sort of a fine brush. Let's have a look. Let's go. There's some nice blue windows as well. There are, yeah. Window. I'm going to put those in as well. These are the. Um, I'm going to just put these in for now. Just sort of. Uh, Actually, there's a lot, you're right, there's a lot of different colours in there. I'm going to put a few... It's some apricot-y sort of colours yeah. as well. And okay, I'm going to... You know how you said you were keeping it to a restricted um, colour palette today? Yeah, I think uh, suddenly we've got to... I've got to dig deep into the paint box to uh, see what we can get. As you can see, at this kind of scale, but just by putting a few little dabs here and there, it just hints at um, chimney pots and aerials details. It makes a big difference suddenly, doesn't it? How it just suddenly pulls things together. Yeah. That's okay, that's okay. I'll put a little, there's a couple of little windows in there. Our chateau, oh. unfortunately, is completely disused. Mm. Um, I don't really know what sort of state it's in, but nobody... I know it's owned, evidently, by some people up in Paris, but... Um, it's not actually lived in, which is sad. There's another one in the next village, which is a similar design in Magon, and they're the Comte de Magon and his the family. Comte de Magon, yes. Here we are, I've got some blue going now. Is that all right? Yeah. A bit, of, a bit of blue. Let's let's put a few blue ones in. Uh, there's some blue shutters right down there by the cafe. Isn't that the? That's Marion's house. Marilyn's house. On the, the, oh no, the it's last. not. It's opposite, isn't opposite, it? Yeah, it's opposite yeah. the cafe. Okay, so that's that, that's that. I'm going to put a little, just be nice careful. I'm often just rinsing my brush out, dabbing it on a piece of uh, tissue paper, and the then uh, dab, dab, tissue dab, paper. Dab. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just going to put a little, hopefully that's not blue. I'm going to stand back, what do you think? Denny Davies has joined us. Denny, hi! Denny. So let's, uh, Watery down here, and it just going to make them strong. If you start getting a bit what they call cauliflowers, thicken, thicken your paint up a little bit when you're painting over the top of, of another colour. It just helps to give the I don't know how the exact chemical reasons, but it just doesn't. Well, it's probably got more pigment in it, doesn't it? Yeah. So I, I kind of like the way that's that's gone. I'm going to flick in a few little. Um, We've got a few, just a sort of fine brush. Pauline, so, is that, um... Pauline Grana says her granddaughter was isolating in Puzol last week. I assume she was with Anais. With Anais. Okay, yes, of course. And it'll be Roger and Louise's daughter. Who, it's a name I've slipped my mind. I'm just going to put it here, a few little... And let's put a little tree in on this side here, look. Just to balance that out, that'll kind of blend away. I may just, um, actually, can you I come over the side? You mustn't forget your pine as well. Oh, the pine, well, yes, of course. Um, just, I've got this kind of little, what kind of bush is this? What bush? Just on that right hand side, it's just mainly kind of like this sort of thing. I'll just take it up a little bit higher. That one, I don't know, I think. Oh, we've got a few little posts, that's quite nice. A few little posts, random fence. You're 
actually right in the shadow. <laughs> Kind of slightly transparent, could have been a little bit fresher colour. Let's have a little bit of cadmium yellow in there as well. Okay, and then last but not least, some super, super strong with a fine brush. Uh, this sort of Has the wind helped your painting dry quite easily? <laughs> my hand go cold. Put my big coat, coat on me. Yeah, there's me looking like. I wonder about just having a shirt to give people the impression that. We're, wait. <laughs> to give people the impression it's. Oh, they're living in the south of France. It's just beautiful weather there. Um, but actually, we've had quite a grey period, haven't we, over the last um, few weeks? Um, I'm just literally just slowly building up. I've got a kind of green. Excuse me. Um, got a kind of hook is green with a little bit of paint grey in there. Looks like, a, looks like an explosion. Let's try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a little. I'm gonna know. I'm gonna leave that. I can just finish off by doing. I've just heard the bells go for 11 o'clock, so we're on record time here. This is a, only a half an hour's painting. It's, I think you're painting super fast because you're cold. <laughs> I'm sure there are people watching in the northern hemisphere who are experiencing colder conditions than this. And saying, Stop being fussy. Yeah, get on with it, man up. I'm just going to. How's that from where you are, Danny? Is that alright? You know, it still looks a bit strong. Um, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Right. <laughs> you know me, full of compliments. Yes. Have you heard they ring twice here as well? Is that common yeah. in every country? I think so. It's kind of in case you. In case you miss it the first time. You miss the count the first time round. Yeah. Or well, have we missed the count and it's actually 12 o'clock? So we've got a comment that says the bells tolling, the birds chirping, the cars going past. Great atmosphere, this is fascinating. All <laughs> right, and the painting, the painting, come on, come on. <laughs> what do you think of the painting? So I've put a few little. Oh, no, actually, I'm going to be. Hey, Carl. Now, that's amazingly dried pretty quickly, and I'm just going to put a couple of little, my trademark sketchy lines in just to get the. Well, let's get a few things in here. This is like a soft black crayon. Anybody's interested? I kind of like it better than um, than using a pencil. All Thanks, fans. Louisa. The painting really captures the atmosphere. The other way, the crowds are just the words got out there. They're 
coming into Puzol now and gathering behind us. So yeah, I'm just putting a few little marks in. Don't go around everything. Um, you you really put it in very softly, don't you? I do. Yeah, I'm just going to put that in there like that. A couple of lines there. You can go on and on, but it's quite nice. A little bit of texture here. Look in the foreground. Perhaps just a couple of lines. The interesting thing is, there's no shadow between the houses. Yeah, we can suggest a few little. This is quite good for yeah, suggesting uh, little balconies. Got some. I haven't used any white, have I? No, you I can. You've got white. dots a little because there are white oh, flowers gonna, on yeah. the grass. If you, That's true. If you really want to. Yeah, this is quite good for. Thanks, Carl. Hi, a lovely looking yeah. painting. <laughs> That's, you know, my brother's friend. Yes, Paul yes. Bouchier. All right. Marie. Just to finish off, I've got the gouache white, especially for Monica. Uh, uh, I think it's cheating. Cheating? Yes. I'm not going to go and mask every daisy off. He, he does it to one Mia. Yeah. So what I can no, do? I do it to one Hema. I'm going to um, I've just mixed. Yeah. For the, uh, Keith is also watching from Scotland. Scotland, hi arrived. Keith. Well, he said he's been down here a few times. He said. Uh, so I've literally got a nice white, thick white gouache. And I'm going to put a few little optimistic spring flowers in there. Quite sort of random. Uh, and I'm going to get carried away with a few little sparkles in a babbling brook. Keep it nice and horizontal. I'll be, before long I'll be, should I do some jumping fish? <laughs> Is that going over the top? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'd like to get those, singing a Disney those song. towers are a little bit dark, aren't they? Um, they are quite dark though, they yeah. really do, you okay. know, I mean, come on, if you look at it, yeah. they kind of really stand out. There we are, I have a few, oh, there's a nice little, you see, if you paint your flowers into the shadow, it gets, just pushes the shadow back a little bit. Well, that's quite nice, then. Oh, I'm getting carried away now. Okay, arrête. That's enough. Oui, ça suffit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in that case, yes, I will stop there. <coughs> so, yep. I will point the camera towards you. Okay. You to... Well, yeah, this is um, this is Simon and Monica coming to you live from uh, the south of France in the village of Pouzol. And <laughs> the crowds rushed by. Just painted this scene behind me. Um, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, please like and subscribe, etc. Go to our website. And what else should I be mentioning, darling? You should be mentioning the fact that we have, unfortunately, Yes, the June we have, we run painting holidays down here and we'll be painting normally for a couple of weeks in June, a couple in September, but what with one thing and another, we've decided to actually cancel the June holidays, but kind of, um, we're very uh, optimistic and enthusiastic about September, so we'll be sending out more information about September. I think we've got a world, number of people booked in for September, we have, which but is we great. still have some spaces, so if anybody feels like joining us in the south of France, go on to our website, we have a five day holiday which starts on I think the 8th of September and then we have got another one on um, a seven day um, towards the I think the last week in September. So. Yeah so plenty to uh, look forward to and of course ideally some summer sort of painting workshops as well we'll see how it goes but hopefully you've, you've enjoyed that and uh, we'll <laughs> we will do our best to come back in a week or so in another live location. Okay. Somewhere that has 4G. 4G. <laughs> okay, thank you. Cheers, Bye everybody. Thanks Good so much. Keep See painting. You soon. Bye. Bye.